I've been on that advisory committee for, for blue crabs for 37 years, and nothing has gotten better. Up here, it's down 80%. You know, damn, I started when I was 22, and now I'm 73, and there's nothing left. And we've all been told, well, if you do this, this will work, and if you do this, this will work, and none of it's worked. They're, they're, they're managing for different things. Um, I'm managing for economics, but my economics are realistic in that I can't go crabbing and not catch anything, so I don't want to harm the, the resource beyond my ability to have it be feasible to continue to do it. And, and I think about that every day. They're thinking about a threshold of sustainability. And, and I'm thinking about the same thing, but it's my threshold of sustainability. And I need a few more crabs than they need to sustain the species. So we're working at two different levels. They want it here. I want to see it here. And the, the regulations they're working on or keeping it here, and it needs to be better uh, for the economics to work for me. If I wasn't 73, uh, I'd be really thinking about trying to figure out how to do something else. I have two or three young boys that I know that are in this fishery. They're in their 30s and 40s, and they're good crabbers, and they don't mind working. And I worry about the future of them. Crabs used to be thick enough when I first started crabbing that you could crab in the morning, and if it was an incoming tide, when you finished your rig, you could actually go back and fish over some of your pots again that it had enough incoming tide because crabs feed on incoming tide. Can't, now we have to let them sit two days. There used to be six or seven crabbers everywhere you went down the river every day. You'd crab next to each other and wave and talk and shoot the breeze, they're gone. But, but this one, <laughs> this one's a losing battle if we don't do something different, I think. You know, we'll never, we'll never, never see the abundance that I saw in the 80s and the 90s. We'll never see it. Uh, these, these young guys will never see what we saw. Thank you for watching. Continue to follow Virginia News and Stories by subscribing to our VPM YouTube channel.